crafting. Today we're going to be showing you how to make a doll sized bed. So for this video what we did is we took some foam from our jewelry company that we have and we put our doll on it and cut around it to fit our doll and then we took an old t-shirt and we glued the t-shirt onto the mattress. So the next part of our video is to make the bed frame. For the bed frame what we're doing is taking a lip of a box because they happen to be perfect size for our mattress and we're going to cut right at the edge of the mattress. Make sure you have adult supervision for this part. With the bottom of our mattress um, bed cut out, excuse me, we're now going to be taking some printer paper, or you can take some recycled paper, and you want to wrap the entire bed in the paper. If you want the easy way to do this, um, you want to wrap it like a present. It's the easiest way to get good, straight, flat surfaces. Now that we've got this wrapped in paper, we took the leftover piece from our cardboard, we traced it and cut out a second half, and now we're going to be wrapping it in paper. Now we took a square that was a little bit smaller than the foot of our bed, and you're going to glue it on there to cover up the mess right there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the top, I'm sorry, the head and the foot of the bed, and we're going to put the bottom of the bed on it, and we're going to mark with a pencil where it is going to be at on both of them. Now with our lines drawn, we're going to take some hot glue and glue our bed into place. With our bed glued, we noticed that it was a little wobbly. So what we did is we took a spare piece of cardboard and we measured the distance from the bottom up to the bed. We cut it out, wrapped it in paper, and now we're going to glue it into place. Now that we're done with the bed, we're going to be doing our pillows. So what we did is we're taking fabric and we cut it three and a half by two and three quarters and we're going to put it good side to good side and then we're going to sew up three of our sides. So we're going to do the two long sides and one of the short sides. Once we get all three sides sewn up, you're going to sew about three quarters of the way across your last edge and then you're going to open up the hole and pull the pillowcase through. Once you got your pillow flipped the right way you're going to take a pencil and you're just gonna push your corners down until you get all your corners popping out. Then we're going to open up the hole and we're gonna stuff it and you can fill it as much as you want and make it as fluffy as you want. When stuffing the pillow you want to take off small pieces and you just want to set it on the hole and get a good pinch and use your finger to stuff it into the hole. That way it's a lot easier. So once we get all of our stuffing in the pillow we're going to pull our thread tight. You want to check and see which side of the thread you're on. So what you're going to do next is you're going to go over one edge of your thread and down into the under part of the other side and pull your thread through then you're going to do it again you're going to go over and then into the inside of the pillowcase and you're going to continue that until you get all the way to the string to the thread that you started off with and then you're going to tie it off once you get your corner tied off and cut, and you just want to smooth out the stuffing to make it even, and you've got yourself a pillow. For our blanket, we're doing just a simple reversible. So what we did is we took a piece of cloth and we measured the size of the bed, and we made it a little bit bigger than our mattress. So once we make the blanket, we can pull it down just a little bit and fold it under. So after we got that, we cut out another piece of fabric 
of a different type and what we're going to do is put them good side to good side and sew them together just like we did with our blanket. So now just like our pillow we're going to be sewing our third side about three quarters of the way and then we're going to open the hole and flip it inside out, right side in. Now you can either leave the blanket like this or you can put a little bit of stuffing in it to make it like an actual comforter and then you're going to sew it just like we did with the pillow and then you'll be done. So with our blanket done, we're going to take our bed we have our mattress, take our blanket I'm going to set our blanket on here fold it over add our pillows and there you have it your doll size bed thank you for watching Yuko's Crafting Danoshimu. Yeah. so I'm going to go take a nap now because I'm exhausted and this bed looks comfortable uh.